dope. I hear my guy Peter bar one. Shit fucking dope. I like it. Alright. Hey y'all. I wanna talk to y'all a little bit about like this last episode, real talk. Because I mentioned depression and people are talking about, oh my god, it's a big problem running rampant. And here's the reason why it's running rampant, right? It's because we don't know what it really is, right? We think this is supposed to be the life. Poverty, stress, this shit is like gravity. You experience that at such an early age that you learn that this is just a part of the earth, that this is what happens. This is the natural phenomenon of what happens as you matriculate to earth. Right? And it's only when we realize that, hey bro, you ain't gotta live like that, do we start saying, do I not? I'm sorry, am I, is this a bad thing? You are running against the wind your whole life. And it's only when you find out that people aren't that you're amazed, right? It's like when you found out that having cable in every room wasn't rich. Like having healthcare and braces and shit wasn't, having Capri Sun wasn't rich. So here's the thing, what I would encourage people to do, all right? It gets a negative connotation and makes it seem like it's weakness, but it's not, right? Look at depression or look at mental health like you look at an ankle injury. Like Doc said, I gotta stay off it for a couple weeks and not be better. Like, I'm not saying run to the hospital for everything, but at the end of the day, if the problem persists, go see a doctor. All right? And so what I'm going to do is this. I'm not, I'm not really going to go to see a doctor for depression because I understood where it came from and I solved the issue. But what I am going to do is go from good to great. So I'm going to go see a, I'm going to go see a, I'm going to find somebody that can take my mind from good to great. I'm going to find somebody that can help me organize my thoughts, collect them, and file them in a way where I can reach into my mind like I'm reaching into a filing cabinet and pull out whatever I want to say and say. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be sharper. I want to go from good where I'm at right now and challenge myself to become a great thinker. So I might fuck around and be a genius. I don't know, right? But when it comes to, like, your mental health, dog. Take your time. Here's where my issue was. We grew up poor. Now maybe this PTSD or whatever people, but whatever these motherfucking fake ass uh, psychotherapists want to want to diagnose it as. But we grew up poor, and all my life I thought, well maybe if I just get money, then this will take away this issue, right? Well, imagine you spending your life and you convincing a 13 year old that this is all they had to do and their whole life they set across this journey only to find out at 40 that that journey is empty that they got money and now nothing and it feels it feels like a wasted life it feels depressing because you confused money with success and so now I step back and I heard someone say that I look at money or I look at wealth as time. And now I realize how much time I spent getting money. And so now the new goal is to have time. Quality time with my wife and kids, quality time with my life, quality time so I can self-reflect. You feel me? So it's depressing when you become successful and you realize these ain't nothing but points. You didn't win no game. You got no self-fulfillment. All you got is fucking points. All you got is money. You can't do shit with money but buy stuff. That's depressing. When you give your life and your love for something, and it's emptiness. Set your target on the right goal. Be impactful in this world. 
have a reason why they remember you. Be memorable. That's what it's about. It's about giving up what you see, what's here to what's there. And living this life. And in the end, in your, life, in your dying words, say they're going to remember me. I did something worth something. I was impactful. I made a difference. Because of me, this is here. I put some fucking points up in that game. I ain't just ride the bench. My jersey ain't dirty. I left it all on the field. That's what it's about. So yeah, dog. I don't think that being depressed, you know, is is is, is a is a knock on your belt. It's not a weakness, bro. It's a strength. All right, it's a strength. I'm gonna tell you why it's a strength. Cause you ain't never seen a motherfucker struggle that was wasn't moving. All right, when you struggle, it's because you're trying to get somewhere. When you fail, it's because you're fucking playing. It ain't because you're sitting on the sidelines. Failure is an ingredient for winning. You talking to a motherfucking champion.